I'm going to uh, go over uh, uh, one way of uh, fixing a, an extreme distal fibular fracture with the lateral hook plate. Uh, there are obviously variations to this. Uh, in this case, um, the surgeon is using a bone tamp to tamp the tines into the distal portion of the bone. That is not a necessary step. They're actually intended to go through just the calcaneofibular ligament, but that will be surgeon preference. First screw placed is either a 3.5 cortical non-locking screw or a 4.0 Kinsella screw into the oblong hole, placed superiorly to allow for some compression, uh, both at this stage and then after the distal screw placement. At this stage, a 4.0 millimeter Kinsella screw is going to be inserted distally, further compressing uh, the tines and uh, reducing the fracture. Uh, one may have to loosen the initially placed screw to allow for further compression. The surgeon has the option of placing distal screws as necessary. These are either 2.7 millimeter locking screws or 3.0 millimeter Kinsella screws. The drill guide, drill bit, and screwdriver are color coded uh, for this uh, step. In this case, uh, all four screws are being filled with locking screws, but this is not a necessary step. Approximately, uh, uh, the plate holes accept 3.5 millimeter non-locking cortical screws, 3.5 millimeter locking screws, and 4.0 millimeter Kinsella screws uh, as deemed necessary by the surgeon and bone quality.